When first beginning to use the Capone Pizza form, it's very easy to get the machine on and started at the beginning of the workday. Simply press the on button in the morning or at the beginning of your shift. This is going to set your pizza form to the top and bottom plate temperatures that have previously been set for this machine. You'll notice on the left hand side that there are two little symbols. One shows the bottom plate with the heat rising up. The second shows the top plate with the heat rising down. That is because this machine has a top and bottom individually controlled temperature settings, meaning that you can adjust the top plate to be at a higher or lower temperature than the setting you would prefer for your bottom plate. Uh, both of these readings are in Celsius, so you will have to make sure that you do the conversion to know what that is coming out to in Fahrenheit. We generally suggest starting the machine at 150 Celsius to begin. That is going to be approximately 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We recommend that the pizza form be cleaned at least once a day while the plates are cold, preferably in the morning prior to turning the machine on for the beginning of the workday. No chlorine products can be used on the pizza form. What we recommend is Barkeeper's Friend. It's a very uh, friendly product for your machine and all of your other items in your kitchen. And we recommend that you only use a cloth or paper towels rather than using any sort of brush, toothbrush, stainless steel, or any other product for this machine. If you're cleaning the machine once a day, you shouldn't need anything more abrasive than a towel with some hot water and barkeeper's friend to keep this machine clean. You can clean the top and bottom plates, any of the other surfaces, and then wipe them down again with just simple soapy water to make sure that you have gotten all the residue off the plates prior to using them for cooking later on in the day. Cleaning and seasoning the Capone pizza form is a very easy process. Uh, this machine does not require any uh, oils or sprays between each press. You simply oil and season the machine once in the morning prior to beginning production for the day. Uh, to do so, we recommend that you have a, a high heat resistant glove. Um, we prefer the Grill Armor gloves. They um, hold up to high temperatures. Uh, we suggest that you wear those while seasoning the plates or cleaning them, and it's a very simple process. What we recommend is you simply take a clean cloth, lightly pour some olive oil into the middle of the cloth, just a little bit will go a long way, and you simply clean and season the plates, both top and bottom, just so that they have a really nice and clean structure. The process is as simple as that, and now you're ready to start pressing your pizzas for the day. Adjusting the thickness of the base on your Capone pizza form is a very simple process. You simply adjust the lever, which you'll see on the right-hand side of the bottom plate of the pizza form, either clockwise or counterclockwise to make the crust thicker or thinner. Moving that handle clockwise will make the pizza form a thicker crust, and moving it counterclockwise will bring the plates closer together allowing for a thinner crust. You'll notice that at a 3 o'clock right behind where the lever is currently at there is a stop bar. That lever should never be brought past that point on the machine. Uh, by doing so it could potentially cause damage to the machine that would require repairs. You can also adjust the thickness of your lever by looking at it more visually as the pizza form is closed. You can do that by doing the following steps. As you notice, when you press the emergency stop button, as the plates go up, it'll stop the press and allow you to remove the cover and allow you to adjust this handle so that you can see the thickness of the bases. If you're making a thicker pizza, when your press completely shuts, it'll be wider than a thinner press pizza, which this is where it stops when it is completely shut. To Begin operation again, simply press the machine down. To adjust the dwell time on your pizza form, it's a very easy process. Dwell time essentially means how long those plates are coming together and stopping in between the press. If you'd like to see it at a shorter dwell time or a larger dwell time, you simply press this clock button on the side. It's going to tell us it's pressing 
uh, at one second of a dwell time. If I'd like to make that a lower time, I would simply drop it down. I'm gonna drop it to 0.3 tenths of a second. Wait for the pizza form to stop flashing. And now when you press, your dwell time will be a shorter length of time. Now that you know how to turn the machine on and off, adjust for the temperature, adjust the dwell time, and the thickness or thinness of your base, as well as clean and season the plates, you're ready to start pressing dough balls in the Capone pizza form. You need to make sure that your top and bottom plate adjustments are set correctly and that they are brought up to temperature before you begin pressing. You'll notice that the top plate is set to 150 degrees and it's now at 152, meaning that it's ready to be pressed. If you look at the bottom plate, there's a little dot in the bottom right hand corner below the 136. That's showing you that the press has not been brought up to the correct heat yet and that that plate is still heating before you should begin operation. Once both plates have reached the setting that you have set, in this instance we've set them to 150, you're now ready to begin pressing dough balls. I've floured three dough balls, they're 680 grams each, and I'm going to be pressing them on the Capone Pizza Form PZF50, our largest model size, and they're going to be pressing out into a 19.7 inch pie. It's very important that the dough be brought up to a warm enough temperature prior to pressing it through the machine to make sure that you don't have any problems with the dough sticking. We recommend that the dough be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit prior to pressing. Thank you for watching this video. If after the end of this video you still have any questions or concerns about how to operate your pizza form correctly, please visit us at www.pizzaequipmentpros.com or call our offices at one 800 655 one eight three one.